but I am getting more at the base. Uh, they will not be able to take out these medevacs uh, because, of course, uh, Zergling's fangs are not long enough to reach the sky. Missile turrets are finally up for me at the expansion, as well as the main base. Uh, the builders, though, are slacking off uh, because I wanted to build them in a hurry uh, because I was like, holy crap, do you know how late in the game it is and I don't have any missile turrets? Spore crawler crawled over, so I did move my medevacs uh, back uh, to uh, my main base with the rest of the army. Two more spine crawlers coming out, so he is uh, almost the same position as it was last time. So uh, I'm not sure if that was a, a set place for him, but he wants to guard that expansion um, more than anything else, it looks like. Uh, but he is going to be keeping Zerglings here to guard the back door to his main base. But these spine crawlers are going to give him early sight here. Um, but then again, so does the creep. Overlord still chilling, not really paying attention to much. Looking at the income tab, I still have a, a quite a large uh, lead in the, the income. So this is this is a game that I should be winning. Looking at the army tab, I have a huge army compared to him. I need to move out, and I need to move out now, especially with that siege tank there. Is that my only siege tank? Why do I only have one siege tank? Didn't I, did I learn anything from the last game? The siege tanks and the Thors won it for me. Where's the Thors? Where's the siege tanks now? There we go, finally another siege tank. Vikings coming out for me because I'm expecting mutas, and there they finally come out, but it's far too late for me now. I let him come back in this game. Look how much that uh, rose when the, the mutas came out. And now this uh, overlord turning into an overseer. He, I'm not sure if he's going for a chainling, uh, changeling here, but uh, he's... Still can't see anything. I don't know if he's expecting me to, to, to keep Banshees here cloaked, just chilling out there. But uh, that's not what's going on, I can tell you that. Looks like I'm going to be going for a medevac drop here. Loading all the Marauders first, then the Marines. And where are we going to be dropping? I don't know, because here come massive amounts of Mutas. How many Mutas is that? 11 Mutas, and they're all right there. Here we go, and there I go. Oh crap, that creep saw me. And so did that creep. So here come the mutas. Are the zerglings going to be coming too? Does not look like it. So I am forced to, to evacuate everybody here. These three vikings are not going to be enough to take out everything that I know is coming my way. Here come the zerglings. Uh, at least I thought that's where they were coming. Uh, Mutas do attack, uh, and then they instantly retreat. I was able to take one of them out with my marines. I was able to stop the, the spread of creep by that overlord, which of course is uh, very important when dealing with mutas, I guess. One medevac going down, so he did it, was able to snipe one, but I do take out two more mutas. Three. Oh, they are, looks like they are all going to be going down. Was one escape. No, he did stop it, so I was able to take that out. And looks like I forgot some guys. Sorry, guys. Spore crawlers still scaring off uh, all of my flying units. They shouldn't be uh, going there without the army, anyways. Oh, but look at that! Even after taking out all those mutas, he is gonna come back with. 20, 30, 32 banelings, and in they come, oh my gosh, utter destruction, he actually had too many banelings, so, of course I learned that I'm gonna see, gonna go to siege tanks and, and Thors, right, here I'm just gonna go for some random overlord sniping, Gonna try to supply lock him, but of course, uh, he's got plenty. No, if I get one more, he will be supply locked. 
to... Do I get it? Yes, so I do successfully supply lock him while my Medivacs go back. And I'm continuing to build an army here. Siege tanks are out, but it looks like I'm not building anything else, even though I have a ton of minerals and gas. What am I doing? There we go. That's how it's done. Just, just put as many marines as you can, I guess. Six marines and one barracks. Of course, that's that's great macro. What are you talking about? Siege tanks still coming. Vikings still coming. I still only have the one factory. Where are the other factories? I need Thors as well. Do I have an armory? It doesn't look like I do. Um, no, instead I go for another barracks because I'm a dumbass. And he's able to take out my stranded infantry at his, what would be, I assume, his third expansion. One thing, though, that I must criticize Harrison about is even though he's done a great job uh, with, um, with the spreading of the creep, um, there's really no expansions. I mean, Zurich is really about the fast expansion, and he got that fast expansion early, but that's he's really been mining off the two bases for a while, which allowed me to stay ahead in the harvester count and the income. Um, we're even on gas, but look at the difference here. 960 to 900 and that's because I'm almost mined out of my main and I'm oversaturated no nah, I'm sorry about good on um, the minerals and here this is something that I want to point out now because I know what's going to happen why aren't there missile turrets here I mean, there's a creep right there. So he can see... Can he see the tanks? No, he can't see the tanks. But I can see the creep. But uh, there's no missile turrets here. That would be great if he sends, like, you know, Zerglings or Banelings to take out this destru these destructible rocks. But if he sent mu the Mutas over here, I am screwed. And there's where the missile turrets come to effect. Scaring off the Mutas. He did go for the harass. And I was able to take one out, it looked like. Overseer's still hanging out. But it looks like he's going to be joined by the Mutas. And here, I stuck with the, Mar the Marines, Marauders, um, Medivacs. But I did get the Vikings. Uh, I was able to spot that creeper simply because it wasn't done yet. But I don't have a Raven, and the Raven would be great. I could just start taking out these creep tumors. Uh, but instead... He sends the mutas down here, right where I said would be great to send them. These Vikings should be enough to take him out, but no, I cycle back. Um, I want to keep my army together, which is why everybody's lagging behind. Oh my gosh, what was I doing this game? Muta's going back to his base. Is he going for anything? Oh my gosh, look at that. 34... Banelings on the way. I am just now getting my first upgrades on the infantry and the w the vehicle weapons. Two tech labs on the way. On factories! Yay! But look at that. That armory could not be placed in a worse spot. It is going to be preventing any mechs from getting out. Why did I put it there? If I put it here, no problem! Who cares about the supply depots blocking off? But no, I, I I built it there. And here I take out the rocks. Which might be one of the stupidest ideas I've had. Um, it is not good against her. Now he can get right into my base. But I felt like I had no choice because there was no way for my... In order for sea things to get out, they would have to go down, around, up over to here so i figured here would be best here we see the banelings coming in and no they cycle back but i did not stop and i did not siege up so i wasn't able to take advantage of that bad uh, that fault right there so he's able to take out almost all of the infantry no problem but i still have quite a few tanks here and a few vikings so i'm going to continue on with the push and of course i'm going for the expansion here but there are more banelings on the way and they're able to take out all but one siege tank because I don't have any armor on it 
and then in come the mutas. Uh, that is way too many mutas for my Vikings to take out. If I did have Thors, though, that would have been a lot easier. Three Thors would have been enough to take that out, I do believe. So does he have upgrades on it? Just uh, one damage upgrade. So I have nothing left but these medevacs, which I'm just allowing to let die, apparently, because I don't like them.